Oh, yes. Oh, here we go. I think we're good now. All right, let me check it out. This site was working fine online. I don't know what. It was showing up on like a regular computer portrait instead of landscape. Like I was like. Oh, well, it was on my phone. Maybe that's fine. Isn't that weird? Yeah. See, you're okay. Good. Yours does it. Good. All right, perfect. Okay, so. Nobody can it. So I don't have a notification. There we are. Yeah. I think I'm gonna spin it around though and do the camera from the other side. Do you want my laptop so you can look at it? No, it'll be fine. Here we go. I can see. So you can see what's happening? Yeah. It's always, it's always like that. All right, we're starting in one minute.
and we have to disconnect our Playster websites. Now, if you love Playster and you want to stay with Playster, that is also good. You would have to go in and create your own subscription, and that's going to be $59 a month. Okay? Also, if you're on this live video and you operate your website through another provider like GoDaddy or Sierra Interactive or Boomtown or Brevity, you don't have to do any of this. Okay? It's only for people that want to move their Playster website over to a new free website that's going to be in command. So I just want to make sure everybody is in the right class and not wasting any of our precious time, right? So, I'm going to write out the steps that we're going to have to do today to make that transition because we're going to break the tie that goes between Playster and our GoDaddy domain name. Okay? So when you started at PW, we taught you to brand your business as your own, correct? So we all have our own domain names, and they all live in GoDaddy. And those domain names are the front facing of your KW websites. So instead of having to market SeanBlevins.KW.com, I own SeanCornellBlevins.com in GoDaddy. Okay? So essentially we're breaking up. Playster and GoDaddy are breaking up today. And then our new agent websites in command are going to start fading. That's what we're doing. Are you ready? So the first thing you'll have to do is go into MyKW, click on technology, and then go to KW websites. And this will take you into Playster. So then you're going to click on it, go to my website. And that is going to open up Placer for you. And like I said, we're going to go through all of these steps again. So everybody just watch for right now. So this is the screen that you're going to get when you log into Placer. It's going to say as of 5 p.m. today, October 22nd, that Placer is no longer going to be available. Okay, so if you want to continue to purchase Playster, it gives you the opportunity to upgrade now. If you're going to transition over into our new KW Command websites, then we are going to X out of this screen and continue with the steps. Okay? If you upgrade your subscription, it's going to ask you for your credit card and a couple other informational items, and then you'll be all set. And you won't have to do anything in GoDaddy. On your Playster page, you are going to go to Edit Site. It's down at the bottom or on the left-hand side. And then you're going to scroll down to where it says Custom domain. Okay? So I'm just writing out these steps here so we can have them to look at later. So edit site and then custom domain. Under custom domain you have to do one thing. The only thing you have to do is go in where it says your custom domain and click on remove. Okay? All right, thank you. This will disconnect your
your feed from Playster to GoDaddy. And this will mean that your website is going to be down for right now. So if you want to do this all at the same time to make it more fluid, then we're just going to pause this step until we get our new agent website up and running. Okay? And again, we're going to go through all of this in a lab afterwards, so don't panic if you're not keeping up with the clicks, okay? So when we choose remove, it's then going to ask us to save, and then we're done in my KW. That's the only step we have to do here. What I also want you to do is I want you to make note of what your actual domain is. So do you see where mine says seanblevins.kw.com? I'm just going to make a note of that because we're going to look at that again in a couple minutes. Okay, next step. We are going to go over into command. And we are going to make sure that we have the right page up in command. So if you scroll over to the left hand side, these are all of your apps in command. This is where you find your smart plans, your opportunities, your designs. And down at the very bottom, you should have a button that says sites. It shouldn't say landing pages anymore, but if it does, you're in the right spot. So under the site tab, you're going to see up at the top that you have landing pages, agent site pages. So where we are right now, these are your landing pages where you can create custom websites for each of your clients. So under your contacts and command, you can go in and set up their neighborhood. And then you can also create a landing page for them, which is their specialized landing page within your website. They can also go into your agent websites and define their search areas as well. It's going to be very smart, very intuitive. To get to our agent website, we're going to click on Agent Site Pages. gone to this class previously, you're going to have these three items right here. If this is your first time going in and setting up your new command website, this page right here is going to be blank. So if it's blank, you're good, and if you have options, you're good. Okay? First thing I want to show you on this page is you now have the option to go in and preview your website before you go live, okay? So I can have this open up in another window and I'll be able to see what my web page is gonna look like and we'll go back and forth so you can see those changes. Okay, to get started setting up your agent website, you're going to scroll down to the very bottom, and you're going to click here where it says Learn More with Kelly Guides. If you've already completed your Kelly Guide, which is basically going in and setting up all of your marketing materials, and your photos, and your contact information, then you're good. So when you click the Kelly Guides, then you're going to click here where it says get started. Okay, so this is pretty easy. 
to navigate through. And a lot of your information should have already carried through from your profile that you set up in My KW and Command. So this is a great opportunity for us to go in and spot check our information and make any improvements that we need to do. But the first thing we're going to do is make sure that we have the correct subdomain. So remember in Playster, when I had to make a note of what your website name actually is, so mine is seanblevins.kw.com, that should have trans excuse me, transferred over <coughs> into command. Now you can click on claim domain and continue with the same domain, or this is your opportunity to change it. So for example, who's a good example? Mike Schoonover. Yours might say mikeschoonover.kw.com. This might be a good opportunity for you to change it to 812living.kw.com. So once you do that, and you click on Claim Domain, you should get a congratulations. Now through our lab process, we have found that sometimes it won't let you do that. Right? Who's been in this class before? We found the books, right? So we learned that if you capitalize, make sure there's no spaces, if you capitalize your first name, last name, and then click on Claim Domain, you're going to get that congratulations. If you're still getting an error, then you will need to contact support, which is in your command dashboard. We'll talk about that later. But we should be good. So now that we have claimed our domain, then we are going to start going through all of the steps in the Kelly Guide to make sure that we have our website up and running and functional, and it looks pretty, and it has all of our correct contact information, so all of the people know where to find us. Yes? And like we said in the other labs, it's more fun doing this together than by yourself, right? So, on the right hand side is where you edit. So over here, whatever you do is going to show up in your preview on the left, and it's going to show up on your preview with that link that we had. So we're going to start with our marketing profile information, so if you click on the words, then you are going to tab through and make sure that everything's correct. So we have our market center name is up and corrected to what it should be. You want to make sure that you have our office address, not your home address. I know in some people's KW profiles you have your home address and you don't want to do that because it's going to show up at the bottom of your agent website. I don't think anyone wants people showing up at your house <laughs> for closing. So 1994, Charlestown, New Albany Road, Suite 200, Jeffersonville, Indiana, 47130. And then the next option here is where you can put your team or business name. You don't have to put Keller Williams again. That is my team and business name. So this is where you're going to put 812 Living, or Lander Dillap Group, or We Are Live Life. Did I miss anything? Okay. Sean, yes, under the new mark, after your market center, uh -huh. mine says Southern Indiana. This right here says Southern Indiana? Yes. yes. What kind of witchcraft? We switched it the other day, but for some reason it's saying Southern Indiana again. Hmm. Everyone should say the same thing. And it won't let it's great. Yeah. So everyone says Southern Indiana? No. No, mine 
Francis Keller Williams real quick. Francis Keller Williams. Francis Keller Williams. Francis All right. Okay. Maybe if we save and continue, it will reboot it. We'll definitely take a look at that here in a little bit. Okay. <clears throat> and do you notice on these you have the red asterisk? That means that it's a required field. So if you don't fill it out, it's not going to allow you to save and continue. So let's continue to tab through. And I want you to put in your professional job title. Make sure your email is correct. Your office phone number and your mobile number are both in there. And you do not necessarily need our office number. You can put your cell phone or if you have a Google number, you can put that in there. Because the only thing we're going to do is forward it to you. Make sense? And then you have this option right here to put in your biography. So if you have this saved in MyKW, it should have transferred over. If you do not have one, then you might want to create one. No, I had one, but it didn't come over. Okay. We'll copy and paste here in a little bit when we do labs. So this bio part, I just want you to type your name in here if it's blank, because it is a required field, and we'll circle back around to it. Your agent license number should be in here. Everybody's in there? Perfect. And then the next option here is our compliance and legal footer. So in some states, it's a state law that they have to link to their licensing agency website or the fair housing website or whatever that is. We do not have to do that. However, we should be putting on here our warning that we have in our email signatures. And let me tell you, friends, if you do not have this warning in your email signatures, today's the day to put it in there. You can go into your Google settings under Gmail, go into your email signature section, and if you've ever received an email from me, anyone ever received an email from me? Mm -hmm. Now, if you read them, that's another thing. Just <laughs> kidding. I got books today. <laughs> if you go down to the very bottom, you can just copy and paste it from any email that staff has sent you. So this warning is about wire fraud. So here's another great opportunity besides our email to remind our consumer that we will never email them line information, that it will always be a phone call to decrease our liability, yes? And then once we do that, we're gonna keep tabbing through the fields and you're gonna to come to the area where you can upload your profile photos. So the first one is your beautiful face, the second DBA, so that's our doing business as, this is a requirement by the state of Indiana. It's a license law requirement, not a KW requirement, the state of Indiana, and they don't mess around. We have to have our full name in this area. Just having the little KW logo doesn't cut it in their eyes. If you need the Keller Williams Realty Consultants logos, I would like to remind you that you have those in your KW Sill and Resource Center. So if you click on Google Drive, in Gmail, and then you click on Shared With Me, then you should have the folder called KW Sewing Resource Center. And in the Resource Center, you have logos and marketing. So you can choose any of the Keller Williams Realty Consultants logos from this page download it to your computer, and then you'll be able to go back into command 
and upload it right into this section. Everybody good with that? And then the next opportunity is for you to add your team logo. So this logo right here is going to show up at the top of your new agent website over in the left top hand corner. So it needs to be square, not rectangle. So if you need help with some photoshopping, we will help you. But make sure that it is a square image and then you'll upload it right into this section as well. The next area gives you the opportunity to put in your social media links. So if you're following along right now, it probably has the links to KW International as a placeholder. Yes? Okay. So under your Facebook, we're going to do this really quick because I've had a lot of questions about this. This is your page, your business page, or even your profile on Facebook. So if you go into Facebook and you click on your name, or you come over to the left-hand side and click on your business name, your URL for Facebook is right up at the top where I have it highlighted. Everybody see that? And then you are just going to copy and paste it. So you hit copy, and then you're going to come back into here, erase the Keller Williams International, and paste it back in. You're going to do the same steps if you choose to use Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, and YouTube. What happens if you don't tweet? Do you go and create a Twitter account? Mm -mm. That's a negative. Mm -hmm. Only put social media links in here that you actually use and that you look at on a daily basis. Because wouldn't that be sad if someone sent you a message on the LinkedIn that thing that you only go to like every six months and they wanted you to list their million dollar house. Wouldn't that be sad? Mm -hmm. So only Facebook social media sites that you go to every day. Deal? Next, we click on save and continue. And that's going to take you to your style and theme page, which this is version one. I don't think I've said that yet. This is version one of probably many versions to come. So if you have a brilliant idea of what should be on our agent websites available to our consumers, you can submit that to International through our help menu, right? So right now you have the option between KW Red and Dark. So the dark is this navy blue dark color for your links and your buttons. So choose between those two. And then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to choose what text you want above your homepage. Yes, Mr. Spooner. It's not letting us continue. Is it giving you an error and telling yes. you you're missing a required field? Yeah. All right. Put a pause on that. Let's get through all of these steps, and then we're going to do it in the labs all together and work through all those problems. Sometimes you have to go back in if you get that error and retype some things, which is really weird, I know. Or you have a space, so let's pretend it's your license number. When we copy and paste things over, sometimes we put a space between where the box starts and the sentence starts. 
So make sure you go through all of those boxes and put your cursor there and do a backspace. We'll troubleshoot it here in a minute. Okay, homepage text. This homepage text, Find Your Dream Home, is going to show up above where people go in and do a search on your agent page. So you can leave it, find your dream home, or we can be creative, that way we all don't have the same look and feel to our websites, and you can put in some other kind of text. Let us help you find your dream home, or whatever you want to say, okay? You type it in here, and it will change it over in the preview screen. The next section is where you can change your images that cycle through, or what some people call a slideshow, on your agent website. So the images that live behind this search area can be customized. So I chose these through the designs area in command. I went into command, I clicked on designs, I went into the social media area, and I grabbed some images from Facebook. And those Facebook images just happened to be 1200 by 1200. I was like, score! You can also Go take your own photos. So if you want to go take photos of a subdivision or one of your listings, or maybe go downtown and take pictures of the river, you want to do things that set your website apart from everyone else's. It makes it custom to the look and feel of your team or how you do business. Sound good? So if you need help with that, let me know. I'm going to tell you what you shouldn't do because this is a disclaimer. What you should not do is go to Google and type in Southern Indiana and click on images and then right click and save photos that don't belong to you. Because that has gotten people into trouble and you know I don't like you all being in trouble. I don't like having conversations when y'all are in trouble. <laughs> so we're just going to avoid all that. Sound good? Mm -hmm. Alright. So, after you put in your photos, you can have up to five photos. You're going to save and continue. And then that is going to walk you through to your next page. So this is where you customize your site's content. So the first thing I want to show you is your search engine optimization or SEO. So this is how Google finds websites when people go in and they do a Google search. So find homes in 47150. Do you think buyers search like that? Find homes in Southern Indiana? Mm -hmm. They search for your name? Find a good real estate agent? Do you think buyers still go on Google and search that way? Yeah? So what we do behind the scenes in this SEO section is we set up our SEO description to tag those things that people search for. Yes? Has anyone set up their SEO in Placer? Perfect. So, this is where you're going to set up all of your SEO, and we'll have workshops, because we could teach a two-hour class about search engine optimization and not miss a beat. Next area is content, and that is going to be filling in, whoop, it's 
sorry, it's difficult going from a Mac to Windows. This mouse is kind of crazy. Okay. Ooh, there we go. So, this is where you're going to change the information that displays over on the left-hand side. So you can change the name of the page header. And then this next section here, you can also change the photo that's behind it, because I think that's downtown Austin, maybe. The intro paragraph is going to display right underneath your photo. And then your next items here, your section one headline, is going to display over there where it says headline title. So some thought is going to have to go into what do you want to show up in these areas. That's why we're keeping some time afterwards so we can all laugh together. So in this area, you could set this up to feature listings. You could set this up to have client testimonials. Do you all do client testimonials on Facebook? or Realtor.com, anywhere. When they email it to you or they put it online, the only thing you have to do is copy it and then paste it in here. And then your photo that goes along with those testimonials could be of you all at the closing table. Do you guys do those photos? I don't know if I ever looked at them. Cute. Or take a picture of them outside of your new house. So this is a great page for you to highlight you and your business. And then your footer headline can be a little bit more about you or your company that you run. Or maybe information about the area. Maybe you want to use those for counties that you service. It's 100% up to you what goes in there. When we click on Save and Continue, this next section, bless you, is going to be your personal about you page. So this is where you can highlight how many years you've been in the business, maybe your goals for helping so many families in 2020, what you did before real estate, how you want to help serve your clients, it's whatever you want it to be. And then your contact information, you can also uh, customize that as well. So where, where it says contact Sean, you can customize that to say contact me for your customized CMA, your market analysis, whatever you want it to say. And then you have your Let Me Help You page. So this is where they can click to contact you. So you can change your call to action. You can change the paragraph that goes underneath it. And you can also change that message hint to be custom to you all. So once you've completed your marketing profile, your website is up and ready to go. So here's the true test. If I go, oh, you know what? I think I hit remove and cloister. One second. I go to my preview here. Go to agent site pages and then preview. I should be able to see 
all of the changes that I've made. I should also be able to go in here and do a search by address or by zip code. And it's going to pull up all of our Keller Williams listings and all of our listings that are in our board. And since our market center is licensed in Southern Indiana and Guar, you'll be able to see both of those boards. All right, perfect. Does anyone have any questions so far? <laughs> All right, please hold. <laughs> All right, so now that we have our Kelly guide completed and all of our marketing information is up and running, the next step we're going to do is we are going to go into GoDaddy.com. <clears throat> so we have already, so there's a, there used to be a link between Playster and GoDaddy, yes? That way, if anyone went to 812living.com, they were really going to MikeSchoonover.kw.com. There's a yes, question dude. on there. There's a question? Go ahead. Yeah, please. So we use Brivity for our website. However, our Playster KW site is set up to forward to our Brivity site. So will we need to move our Playster site to the free site and then set up forwarding? So you're going to go in and remove your link in Playster. <clears throat> you're going to set up your agent website in command. And then you are going to redirect it in GoDaddy, which we're going to talk about here in a second. So you're going to be doing the same steps. That way, if anyone ever went to yourname.kw.com, which we really don't advertise that, but sometimes they get a hold of it, it will forward to your Brivity website. Does that make sense? Hopefully so. Hopefully so. So, when we click on remove from my KW, we're disconnecting that forwarding. Now, since we have our agent website set up through our Kelly guide, we have to go in and tell our domain name where to go. She says thank you. Oh, good. You're welcome. So when someone goes to seanblevins.kw.com, or if they go to seanblevins.com, excuse me, they're really going to my new website in command. So to do that in GoDaddy, when you log into GoDaddy, it usually shows up on your My Products page. They've recently done some upgrades to their website. And sometimes you have to go into your account area and go to My Products. So I'm just going to write this down for everyone. Go to Account, My Products. And if you have multiple websites, which a lot of people do, then you're going to set up forwarding for all of those. You're going to have to re-forward all of those. So my SeanCornellBlevins.com, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to click on the DNS button. And when I click on DNS, the first things we're going to do is we're going to remove, we're going to delete this app post. So if it says instead of parked, if it says 184.162.1. I don't remember the rest. If it has that up there, you are going to click on the pencil and then you're going to hit delete. So, under DNS, we are going to delete your app host and your C name. So, 
So once you remove that, then you are going to scroll down here where it says C name, www. Over here, where it says the at sign, it should probably say domains.myplatform, something like that. You're going to go in and delete that as well. Just the www. So we've deleted our at host. We deleted our C name, and then we are going to scroll down to where it says forwarding, and we are going to add our SeanWebbins.kw.com. There's a couple steps here. First, I've been told. We have to change the HTTP to HTTPS. And then we are going to type in our domain name that we set up in our Kelly Guide. Or our subdomain. Everybody breathe. seen this page in my life. I know, I set it up for you. <laughs> the next step is we're going to choose forward with masking. If you just click on forward, up here in your URL, it's still going to show SeanBlevins.kw.com. If you choose forward with masking, it's going to say SeanCornellWebbins.com. The domain name that I bought through GoDaddy and I brand myself with, and which is on probably all of my business cards and marketing materials, yes? Perfect. So when you click on forward with masking, you're just going to fill in your title, your description, and your keywords. So again, this is going to help your SEO. So under keywords, you're going to type in everything you could possibly think about. Your name, your brand, homes for sale in Southern Indiana, homes for sale in 47150, 47130, 47124. All of it can go into this section. So what I always suggest to people when we do the SEO class is that you pull up a Word document or a notes document and you start brainstorming together. If someone were to go to Google and do a search for a house, what are all of the different things that they could search for? And then you just separate those things with commas. Do you guys want to have an SEO class again? Yes? Okay. Once you have this done, and once you have forward with masking checked, then you're going to click on save. And you're done. And do we want to put all those things in description or keywords? Your description is going to be your brand again. And then your keywords are kind of like, it's called a meta description or a meta tag. That's where all of the search for homes in 47150 goes, okay? All right. So here, let's go over to the board again. Here are all of the steps that we're going to do. And you can choose to set up your marketing profile first and then disconnect your place start. I'm just going to go through all of the steps you have to do in each website. So in my PW, you're going to go to technology, go to KW websites, click on the go to my website button, and that's going to open up Playster. In Playster, you're going to click on edit site which is over on the left hand side or underneath your image. You're going to choose custom domains and then where it says yourbrand.com remember mine said Sean Cornell 
remove button, and you're going to hit save. You're also going to take a note of what your subdomain is. Just write it down. JohnBlevins.kw.com because you'll need it later. And then you're going to log into command. I know a lot of people have been using some different websites because we've had new versions. If you're using console.kw.command.com, the easier website to use is agent.kw.com. If you've never logged into command, you should go to Tech with Thomas at 2 o'clock today. Your Command username and password is the exact same as your MyKW password. Makes sense, doesn't it? So in Command, you're going to go all the way to the left, and you're going to go down to the bottom, and you're going to click on the Site button. And then you're going to click up at the top where it says Agent Site Pages. Not landing pages. Agent Site Pages. And on the agent site page, you're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom. And you're going to click on Kelly Guides. And that's going to take you to another page, and then you're going to click on Get Started. Once you go through all of those steps in the Kelly Guide, so you're going to set up your contact information, you're going to make sure your photos are up to date, you're going to make sure that you have a warning under your legal footer and your DBA, Keller Williams Realty Consultants logo in there. And you set up all of your pages. Then you can go into your GoDaddy account and you can redirect where your website goes. So GoDaddy is your name. And place your in command is your content house, so to speak. It's where your content lives. So remember, what we're doing is GoDaddy's breaking up the placer. So when we go into my products and we click on the DNS button and we delete the at post and the C name that has the www. When we go and we, we remove those, and then we re-link it through forwarding with masking back to our SeanFlevins.kw.com, it's going to reconnect to your new website in command. Okay? So we are going to start our labs. Thank you for joining us, KW Sewin. Let me know if you have any questions.